So today is uh, the 17th of March 2020 and this is Mazen Kerala Infectious Disease and Critical Care Medicine. Uh, uh, we'll be uh, updating you about uh, the uh, letter to the editor that was published today uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine about aerosol and uh, surface stability of uh, SARS -CoV coronavirus 2 uh, or COVID-19. And this is uh, a letter to the editor uh, uh, published uh, today uh, by uh, Invan uh, Dormelin and uh, others uh, presenting their uh, work about uh, aerosol and surface stability of uh, SARS coronavirus 2 as compared to SARS coronavirus uh, 1. And I will just present uh, the results. Uh, they compared the viability of the uh, virus. Uh, coronavirus 1 and coronavirus 2 on uh, four different uh, surfaces. Uh, first one is copper and uh, cardboard compared to stainless steel uh, and uh, uh, stainless steel and uh, plastic. Uh, what they found uh, is that uh, the virus uh, is not viable uh, after eight hours uh, on copper and it was not viable after 24 hours on cardboard compared to longer viability on stainless uh, steel, uh, which was up to 48 hours, and on plastic uh, was up to 72 hours. Uh, so this confirms that uh, the coronavirus 2 was more stable on plastic and uh, stainless uh, steel compared to copper and uh, cardboard. Uh, and uh, the viability uh, was detected up to 72 hours after application to these uh, surfaces. Uh, now, in terms of the uh, aerosols, uh, the uh, aerosols were generated and contained in a container and the uh, virus was uh, measured within this container in terms of its viability. And the procedure was uh, done for only three hours. Uh, what you see here that uh, the virus was uh, less a little bit, however, it was still viable at the end of the three hours. Uh, so they concluded that the virus uh, remained viable in uh, aerosols throughout the duration of the experiment. The results uh, indicate that aerosol and fomite transmission of uh, SARS coronavirus 2 is plausible since the virus can remain viable and uh, infectious uh, in aerosols for hours and on surfaces for up to a uh, few days. This confirms what we have been talking about, that the virus is transmitted uh, mainly through droplets uh, where the size is above uh, uh, 10 uh, micron uh, to above 100 microns. And uh, you can see those droplets, multiple particles, including the virus and uh, the water surrounding this. Uh, because of the size and the weight of these droplets, it will actually drop within one to two feet. And now we know that uh, if it dropped on surfaces, it can uh, be viable for up to a few days. It depends on the, uh, on the type of the surface. Uh, we were talking about the possibility of uh, infectious uh, droplet nuclei, which is uh, airborne transmission, and now it is confirmed that certain proce procedures can generate aerosols, and we need to be aware once we are uh, in close contact with any uh, patient where we're doing these uh, procedures, at that time we have to be in uh, airborne, uh, uh, in, we have to uh, follow the airborne precautions. So, so influenza coronavirus is mainly a droplet. Uh, in certain procedures, coronavirus uh, can be uh, airborne. Uh, and those procedures are the following. Uh, number one, intubation and any related procedures such as manual ventilation. Number two, respiratory and airway uh, suctioning, including tracheostomy care. And also tracheostomy procedure itself is uh, a result generating <coughs> procedure. Number three, nasogastric aspiration. Number four, cardiopulmonary resuscitation with CPR. Uh, bronchoscopy is another procedure. If you do autopsy, it would be uh, generating uh, aerosols too. Any nebulized, nebulized treatment, uh, non-invasive mechanical ventilation, uh, bi-level positive air pressure and high frequency ventilation. If you're doing any of this uh, uh, procedures at that time, you have to follow airborne precautions, putting N95 and putting goggles on the uh, eyes. Otherwise, contact uh, uh, 
precautions and droplet precautions would uh, suffice by in addition to covering the eyes so uh, with this i hope everything everybody stay uh, stay stays uh, safe and we'll see you with the next uh, uh, presentation thank you